please welcome Catherine Zeta Jones. Mr. Guy Pierce. Uh, hi, this is a question for Catherine. Hi, Merrick here from American Rosso. How are you going? Uh, first of all, I'd just like to say it's uh, great to see that um, you are as beautiful in real life as you are on film. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's quite easy, really. Yeah, the best office have done with mirrors, makeup, and, and an incredible DP. But he does look good, don't you think? He looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Was there a little bit of uh, spray on tan there, Guy? Were they doing that thing where they just paint on your abs? I think it was the peel off tan. I was pretty blue in the film, actually. Uh, there wasn't any tan at all. Captain, if we could just get back to how beautiful you are for a second. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I've been a big fan of yours for years, and uh, I've noticed it in your films that you know you often play very, very beautiful, glamorous woman. You know, amazing hair, beautiful uh, makeup, and, and facial features, features and uh, an incredible body. I have no more questions. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a married woman. Sit down, for God's sake. Uh, it's a question for Guy. Uh, as Harry Houdini, you've um, got a scene where you're in a straitjacket and you've got to escape from it. In your preparation for the character Houdini, did you just watch Leave the Weapon heaps of times where Briggs gets out of that jacket? You know that scene? Yes, How that's right. That scene? Dislocating my shoulder was, uh, was the, the prime objective, really. I think that was how he, wasn't it? Yeah. How he got out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Hi there, this is a question for Catherine. Um, you always look very glamorous. Is there any truth to reports that um, you use strawberries to brush your teeth or put cat blood in your mouth? I don't think I'm dumb enough to put caviar in my hair. Um, it goes right in my stomach, thank you very much. No, no it always surprises me. Um, I, the strawberry one is a, is a new thing for me, I've never heard that. But, um, would you think you'd get like red stains on your teeth or something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where this stuff comes from. What do you hope to see and do while you're sitting here? Well, I was really, I'm really happy to see my old mates here. I'm very happy to be uh, to be here with them. And um, I'm going to have a day off um, for these, so I'm hoping to go and visit the harbour and, you know, hopefully see some old friends and lots of friends that I know here. Is it hot in here or is it me? No, it's hot. Not you, you. You left yourself open for that one. No, I didn't plan that. I just did a choir over the Catherine, yeah. there has been so much focus on your looks today. What's your attitude to plastic surgery and Botox? Whatever it takes for someone to feel happy within themselves. Just finally, Catherine, if I could, I just... I nicked down the servo on the way here today and... I, I hope up... those are not carnations because I'm allergic. No, I'm kidding. No, they're... They're, um, they're flowers. They're flowers. <laughs> Get a few shots of this one. <laughs> and that's a box of Cadbury Roses. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Do you want to get a kiss? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go! Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you ladies and gentlemen. If you please thank Barry McGowan, Sasha Ronan, Catherine Zeta Jones, Guy Pearce, and Julian Elmstall. Practically my love. <laughs> No vibe. Nine six nine.